بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today our lecture is talking about acute leukemia presented by me Dr. Inas Abdul Karim Saadi me a lecturer of hematopathology in the College of Medicine University of Karbala and have a fellowship of Iraqi board for medical specialization uh, first we have to know the objective of this lecture it's important to understand the etiology of and definition of acute leukemia and the different scheme of leukemia classification clinical feature and lab finding of acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia and lastly we have to know the difference between leukemia and lymphoma acute leukemia definition we have to know what is the meaning of acute leukemia in arabic it means saratan al-dam so it is one of the hemopoietic malignancy it is an aggressive clonal malignant transformation involving the hemopoietic stem cell or early progenitor blast and characterized by uncontrolled proliferation of blast cell in the bone marrow with spillage into peripheral blood and variable infiltration of other organs. It is aggressive. Aggressive means idai or adwani. Clonal means derived from uh, it is, uh, this word come from the word clonality. Clonal, clone means derived from one population, one group of cell which have been developed and derived from one ancestry. So it is malignant condition involving one clone of cell. This cell, either the hemopoietic stem cell, اللي هي الخلية, الخلايا الجذعية, الخلايا الجذعية اللي لها القابلية إلى التماثل أو التمايز إلى مختلف أنواع خلايا الدم اللي هي the RBC, white BC, and the platelet. اللي هي stem cell has the capacity of self renewal. تجديد داتا and differentiation into many types of cell accordingly they can differentiate into red cell and white cell and platelet under the influence of many growth factors uh, or involving the early progenitor cell اللي هي blast blast cell primitive cell blast cell they are primitive cell خلايا بدائية غير متطورة غير uh, ما صاير بها maturation early الخلايا المولدة الأولية لذلك uh, المرض result by uncontrolled proliferation if it was controlled we, say, we said uh, uh, or uh, that it is uncontrolled because it is um, any malignancy it is uncontrolled maturation uh, proliferation uncontrolled growth if it is controlled mean physiological when we when I said uncontrolled mean pathological condition so uncontrolled proliferation of these blast cell uh, presented in the bone marrow and then they spill into peripheral blood and variable infiltration of other organ. This proliferation in the bone marrow and uh, spillage in the peripheral blood and infiltration into other uh, other organs will forming the and responsible for the clinical feature of a patient with acute leukemia. Uh, also, they result from a series of genetic alteration rather than one sin single event. So multiple genetic sequences uh, occur leading to the uh, development and uh, appearance of acute leukemia rather than a single event. This alteration either involving the proto-oncogene or a tumor suppressor gene. If proto-oncogene involved, this means it is proto-oncogene, -onco means stimulant uh, gene. It is a stimulant gene. When it is involved, so it's become hyperactive, uh, stimulate further and further proliferation of these blasts. Or involving the tumor suppressor gene. Tumor suppressor gene, when undergone mutation or genetic alteration, uh, this means that from its name, tumor suppressor, its function is to suppress the tumor activity, the malignant activity. When, when the, the mutation involves, it become, uh, its activity becomes subside or reducing. That's why allowing the proliferation and, uh, of the malignancy and growth of the malignancy to continue more and more, resulting, as we mentioned in the lecture, in the abnormal and uncontrollable proliferation of the malignant cell, the blast cell. And the bone marrow and uh, the bone marrow and other sides of the body. Uh, regarding the types of acute leukemia, we have two major types. Two major types. The most important it is the acute lymphoblastic leukemia. From its name, lymphoblastic means the the malignancy or the tumor involving the uh, the lympho lymphoid series. It, uh, and this also it is divided either into T, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or B, lymphoblastic le leukemia. In, in normal condition, we have two types of lymphocytes, either T lymphocyte or B lymphocyte. And this division, uh, uh, according to the markers that the lymphocyte carry on, on its uh, 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 surface, 
which we detect it by immune phenotyping by flow cytometry. If the lymphocytes carrying the marker of T cell, which are like CD2, cluster of differentiation number two, we name it, and CD3, CD5, CD8, these are CD7, these are marker of T lymphocytes. We uh, then put it in the uh, part of T, uh, T cell. While when it is carry uh, markers of B lymphocytes, uh, B lymphocytes carrying a marker such as cluster of differentiation, yani, uh, C, D, cluster of differentiation, C from the early name of a cluster, and D, uh, the beginning or the first letter of differentiation. So name it, Mukhtasar, uh, C, D. C, D, uh, 10, C, D, uh, 19, C, D, 20. These are marker of B lymphocyte. We if we find this marker by flow cytometry on the surface of a cell, we name it B, C, B lymphocyte. So, uh, also further on, uh, if we find it on uh, the malignant cell, uh, in case of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, we name it B acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and so on. Or it is acute myeloblastic leukemia when the blast cell or uh, malignancy involving the myeloid series. The third type. So the, the two main types are acute lymphoblastic leukemia and acute myeloblastic leukemia. We have another type, which is a result from mixture of both uh, lymphoblastic uh, series, lymphoid series, and myeloid series. When we found two population of the blast uh, of the malignant cell in the peripheral blood or in bone marrow, we name it mixed lineage, biphenotypic or bilineage lymphoid leukemia. ومثل ما قلنا شلون أعرفهم According to the either the morphology, we found uh, two population regarding the morphology. See that the blasts are lymphoid and uh, myeloid two population, and confirm our diagnosis by flow cytometry or by uh, when we found two markers: the blast that carrying the lymphoid markers on its surface and the blast that carrying the myeloid marker. By by this time, we confirm the diagnosis that it is a mixed lineage, biphenotypic or bilineage leukemia. What is the etiology of acute leukemia? Why it is developed? It is mean exposure to either uh, one of these uh, factor or agents, first environmental agent, exposure to ionizing radiation, or exposure to chemical, such as chronic exposure to benzene, well, may aid in the uh, development of uh, acute leukemia. Second, host susceptibility. Yani, the host, the patient, has a factor, either genetic factor or acquired factor, We'll ma we mention it in detail soon. Uh, onco oncogenic viruses, also some viruses, uh, when uh, the patient or the person exposed to them has the capacity to initiate the malignant transformation and uncontrolled proliferation of the cells. Regarding environmental agent, as we mentioned previously, exposure to, uh, to radiation, as it has been noticed that uh, there is increased incidence of all types uh, of leukemia in survivors of atomic bombing in Japan. Al Qumbul al Dariya, li sarat qabel fatra min al zaman fil Japan, lahaza wa inno increased incidence of all types of leukemia in those that exposed to this atomic bombing and radiation. Other, uh, it is alkylating agent like uh, chlorambucil and mustine. Compound, especially when they have been compound, this type of chemical agent, when person exposed to them, uh, they initiate and uh, initiate the development and malignant proliferation and development of leukemia. Another, uh, it is a genetic factor of the host. They there is an increased incidence of leukemia in some genetic diseases uh, or syndromic uh, diseases. Down syndrome. Mutalazimate down, uh, Bloom syndrome. This syndrome, uh, Mutalazimate blooms, means the uh, patient has many criteria, such as has has uh, involvement of mo more than one system in his body, uh, skin rash, has a photosensitivity, has immunological disorder, and so on. Fanconi anemia, which is form of aplastic anemia and bone marrow failure syndrome. Also, these patients incre has increased susceptibility for development of leukemia. Uh, ataxia telangiectasia, which is a neurodegenerative disease characterized by involvement of um, 
nervous system, immune system, uh, difficulty, they have a difficulty in coordinating movement. Claim filter uh, syndrome, also we name it XXY47, means it is occur in male and they have uh, more X chromosome and usually it is characterized by infertility, those patients. Also this patient and syndromic, this syndrome uh, will has uh, increased susceptibility for development of acute leukemia. Uh, regarding acquired factor, also a patient may have any disease. The presence of such a disease or such a condi uh, condition, also the patient has more susceptibility for developing acute leukemia, such as uh, myelodysplasia or name it uh, myelodysplastic uh, syndrome. It is means uh, تشوهات المتلازمة خلل أو تشوه النسيج النقوي أو النخاعي بالعربي. Secondary AML after chemotherapy and uh, plus minus radiotherapy as we mention uh, it. Patient has a chemotherapy and then will develop AML secondary to this uh, exposure to chemotherapy. Uh, Myeloproliferative disorder اللي هو uh, مرض أو uh, التكاثر النقوي ال uh, CML chronic myeloid leukemia even it is cancer but a patient with this can develop another form of uh, another malignancy mal hemopoietic malignancy polycythemia rubra vera also uh, I think it is uh, it is a form of myeloproliferative disorder and I think we will take it in another lecture inshallah and myelofibrosis تليف النسيج النقوي أيضا it is a form of myeloproliferative disorder. This group of disorder uh, mainly develop acute myeloid leukemia. Aplastic anemia, uh, uh, also uh, it is a form of bone marrow failure syndrome. These more liable for development of acute myeloid leukemia. Paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria. It is a form of hemolytic anemia characterized by many features. Hemolysis, an increased tendency for thrombosis, and renal failure and usually it is occur due to mutation of one uh, gene uh, that responsible uh, هو phosphatidyl inositol protein phosphatidyl inositol protein who are responsible for stabilization of the protein on cell surface of on the red cell membrane so if there is any mutation in this uh, protein this result into this form of anemia, hemolytic anemia, acquired type of hemolytic anemia. As we mentioned, the patient has uh, hemolysis and increased tendency of thrombosis and uh, renal failure. These patients will have an increased tendency of development of acute myeloid leukemia. Multiple myeloma, which is a form of plasma cell dyscrasia, plasma cell malignancy involving the plasma cell. Also, this has increased tendency for developing of acute myeloid leukemia. Then, oncogenic viruses, not all viruses, Some we have some example for the viruses that when involve the patient or infect the patient, this patient will have more and more increased tendency for developing uh, leukemia. Like human T-cell uh, lymphoma virus, type 1, which is a cause of adult T-cell leukemia lymphoma. Epstein-Barr virus associated with endemic form of Perkett lymphoma, which is African type. Uh, AIDS also, which is uh, caused by uh, HIV, human immune deficiency virus, associated also with increased incidence of lymphoma. This is a uh, information for you that the incidence of acute myeloid leukemia increase about 1.3 to 2 folds in smokers, presumably because of exposure to carcinogens such as benzene and tobacco smoke. Pathogenesis: How the leukemia develop? As we mentioned, that the leukemia it is an aggressive disease in which malignant transformation occur in the pluripotent hemopoietic stem cell or very early progenitor, thus the genetic damage may involve different key steps in cell proliferation and differentiation. It is either result into increased rate of proliferation or reduce apoptosis, which is a form of programmed cell death when it is reduced, when the cell death reduced, so 
uh, on the other side there will be increased proliferation uh, and development of the malignant condition all uh, or involvement uh, the blockage in the cellular differentiation this is the pathogenesis and how uh, the leukemia develop either increased rate of proliferation or reduced rate of apoptosis or block in cellular differentiation clinical manifestation clinical feature of patient with acute leukemia uh, acute leukemia could be developed at any age and we can classify them into two distinct type we have childhood leukemia which is affected children less than 15 years old 80 percent of these cases are usually acute lymphoblastic leukemia or adult leukemia affecting adult more than 15 years the majority of the cases are acute myeloid leukemia as a clinical pre uh, presentation the grade uh, there is uh, a great degree of overlap between acute myeloid and acute lymphoid leukemia thus it is requiring many investigation for accurate categorization and then احنا يعني بالكلينيكال مانيفيستيشن اقدر اقسم اللوكيميا اكوردنج تو ذا ايج انفولف ايذر تشايلدهود لوكيميا اللي هم اقل من 15 سنه واللي هي اكثر شيء اي ال ال 80% اوف ذا كيسز ار يوجوالي اي ال ال او اقسمها الى ادلت لوكيميا ان ويتش ات از افكت ادلت مور ذان 15 ييرز اولد والماجورتي اوف ذيم Uh, are acute myeloid leukemia. غالبا in clinical presentation it is difficult to distinguish or differentiate between acute myeloid leukemia patients and acute lymphoid leukemia patients. لذلك أحتاج إلى investigation اللي إن شاء الله نمر على ذكرها في السلايدات المقبلة. Okay. Uh, also, uh, we still in speaking about the clinical manifestation. The onset is either sudden. especially in children or in CDLs. Clinically, acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoid leukemia are dis dis indistinguishable as we mentioned previously. Uh, apart from free exception, some form of leukemia has special characteristic or special uh, clinical feature uh, occur uh, in patients involved with them, such as gum hypertrophy is more common in certain subtypes of acute myeloid leukemia, such as monocytic acute myeloid leukemia, lihia, the M4 subtype or M5 subtypes that we will mention them later on and lymphadenopathy more common in ALL when I said gum hypertrophy is more common in certain subtypes such as M4, M5 this is not mean that another type uh, not occur in them no but it is more common in them more than another type of uh, other subtypes of acute myeloid leukemia and so on the common symptom and sign uh, at presentation uh, are mainly A result of, uh, from or related to the proliferation of le leukemic cell and their infiltration into normal tissue as we mentioned in the definition of acute leukemia first uh, the bone marrow failure this feature clinical feature related to the bone marrow failure uh, it is either anemia first of all anemia which is a common feature common feature occur, uh, occur in patients with hemopoietic malignancies in general. Patient with anemia has a pallor, has a weakness, has fatigability, uh, dyspnea, lethargy, uh, and uh, usually dyspnea on exertion, even may have angina, even may, ha may have also uh, palpitation. Okay, these are pictures uh, show us the clinical feature and clinical uh, presentation and some forms and some subtypes of anemia such as uh, here infection it is so common due to reduce immunity especially neutropenia neutropenia we see it and uh, it is occur in malignancy so the, there is reduction in the immune immunity of the person leading to infection um, leading manifestation of acute leukemia in the skin barbara and ecchymosis here is ecchymosis here is barbaric crash Due to reduced platelet thrombocytopenia, cervical lymphadenopathy here, cervical lymphadenopathy is so clear here, common in ALL, gum hypertrophy as we mentioned it, common in AML, M5, and as we mentioned previously, M4 could be seen, M5 means monoblastic leukemia, it's from subtype of acute myeloid leukemia. How can we diagnose a patient with acute leukemia? First of all, we have uh, we need the presence of more than 
or equal 20% of a blast in the bone marrow and or in the peripheral blood. يعني إذا لقيت 20% of a blast in peripheral blood, it is acute leukemia. In general, the actually acute myeloid or acute lymphoid leukemia. Acute leukemia, for to be diagnosed, I need first of all presence of a blast cell, the uh, the malignant cell. I need their presence, and they need uh, to be more than or equal 20%. Uh, in the peripheral blood or in the bone marrow or both of them okay however it can be diagnosed with even less than 20% of blast in which situation in general I need 20% or more than 20% of blast in the peripheral blood and bone marrow or one of them if I get 20% but I, I have suspicion from clinical picture that a patient have a leukemia أقل من 20% it is enough yes but in a specific situation such as specific leukemia associated cytogenetic uh, or molecular genetic abnormality uh, if present like translocation 15, 17 in case of acute myeloid leukemia M3 Uh, so إذا uh, يعني أقدر أشخص اللوكيميا إذا الكاونت كان أقل من عشرين بالمئة في حالات معينة إذا عندي لوكيميا associated cytogenetic abnormality there are specific cytogenetic abnormality when they are present they are related to specific subtypes of leukemia when I found خمستعش translocation خمستعش سبعتعش even if it blast less than twenty percent this is mean uh, it is acute myeloid leukemia M3 Pro acute pro myelocytic leukemia. First blood film RBC, as we mentioned, that anemia it is almost always present and usually normochromic normocytic anemia. Usually, white BC, the, the total the total white BC count variable. This may be either leukocytosis, the leukemia, the patient with leukemia may be presented with leukocytosis, and even the leukocytosis may, may reach to very very high count, like. Uh, 200 to 300,000 cell where blasts are self uh, even, evident. Akid, the anti leukocytosis reaching this high uh, number, Akid, the blast will become evident and clear, and I see it uh, so prominently. Or leukopenia, yes, the, the patient, if the bone marrow suppression is so severe, I can't find the patient with leukemia but has a leukopenia. In this case, even the blast. Uh, not so evident as the patient with leukocytosis I found it in the peripheral blood but not so evident uh, or it may show normal count even patient uh, come to me uh, CBC is, has a normal count but when I come to the blood film and do differential I found the blast 20% or even more than 20% uh, then it's uh, diagnosed as acute leukemia neutropenia also common finding in the peripheral blood Platelets, regarding platelets, uh, it's uh, usually thrombocytopenia in most cases in which the platelet count uh, degrees uh, uh, reduce or decrease less than 150,000 uh, count. This is a slide showing acute uh, leukemia. How we can know? From this, from the morphology, it is acute myeloid or acute lymphoid leukemia. Here, it is definitely acute myeloid leukemia because the presence of this granule, you see it, it is our our rod. We name it our rod. It is more pathognomonic and specific to the blast of acute myeloid leukemia. In general, uh, here, these are all of these cells are blast, leukemic cell. Uh, how can we describe them? These are cells with uh, large primitive cell primitive معناهم. this is the chromatin open chromatin not condensed not a clump you see it it is احنا نصيح لقطعة وحدة open chromatin so it is immature cell uh, cell large cell with high NC ratio NC nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio nucleus it is large in relation to the cytoplasm I said them they are cells with high NC ratio high nucleus cytoplasmic ratio Uh, they have uh, multiple nucleoli. You see, these are. This is a nucleolus. Nucleolus. These are. And showing uh, our rods, which is uh, granules, granular uh, structure. Maybe 
uh, many studies show, uh, show that it's maybe uh, structure dislodge from the nuclear structure or chromatin structure. So it is a granular structure. So this is definitely it is acute myeloid leukemia. Second, first, uh, we mentioned that we have to depend on the blood film and CBC and blood film, then bone marrow, aspirate. In the bone marrow aspirate, it is necessarily, uh, it is necessary to confirm our diagnosis, especially when we have low count. مثل ما قلنا قبل شوية إنه ممكن هو ليكوبينيا وموجودة بلاس في البيرفرال بلاد بس البلاس ما حققت لي العشرين بالمئة. How can I confirm? I have to uh, confirm that it is leukemia and I have to uh, blast. I have a number of blast. more than 20 or more than 20 to say that is leukemia so that I have to go to the bone marrow aspirate and check the number of blasts when I go to the bone marrow and calculate the blasts and found them 20% or more than so definitely it is acute leukemia so the marrow is usually markedly hypercellular with extensive infiltration by blast cell constituting at least 20% of all nucleated cell of all nucleated cell mean erythroid and myeloid series with suppression of normal hemopoietic elements means I will found the blast forming about 20% of all nucleated cell with suppression mean I will may found or may not found other uh, the normal series uh, that should be found in a normal patient a normal uh, situation a normal condition uh, whether early precursor such as bromylocyte, myelocyte, or uh, late, uh, late uh, mature cells such as neutrophil, basophil, I will find them in very few number, means they are, there is a suppression. Or even sometimes uh, in, in extensive, when there is extensive infiltration, I, I said that there is uh, the leukemic infiltration suppress other hemopoietic element, there is no even, no normal hemopoietic element. This is showing that the, the disease is so aggressive and so extensive, that's why it's suppressing other hemopoietic elements. Based on, on morphology of the blast and their pattern of maturation and the use of special stains, sometimes immunological marker, leukemia could be classified into lymphoid and myeloid subtype and subtype with, within each of these classes. We are still in the bone marrow aspirate. I see, first I check the blood film, and, uh, and then from the blood film, I have a suspicion because I see the blast. Then I will go to the bone marrow aspirate and also see this blast. But I have to confirm my diagnosis, see the subtype of the blast, uh, the blast. Uh, whether it is a myeloid or lymphoid, how? I will depend then on the special stains. We, I have a, spe a special stain and have a cytochemistry that can give me uh, the diagnosis and confirm my diagnosis in which such as we have periodic acid, acid shift stain periodic acid shift stain PAS it is uh, if I do it and was positive it is mean that it is uh, lymphoid series while if the um, uh, if I do another stain such as uh, myeloperoxidase or uh, Sudan black stain this mean that it is a myeloid series myeloid leukemia then also I can confirm by another way which is uh, as I mentioned neurological marker by flow cytometry or immune phenotyping in which uh, as I mentioned previously that the, 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 we have uh, some immunological marker specific for lymphoid series whether T lymphoid or B lympho uh, lymphoid uh, lymphocytes uh, or so there's specific marker specific for myeloid myeloid series uh, depending on this marker, I can then say wh whether it is acute myeloid leukemia or acute lymphoid leukemia and so on. Or by phenotypic, as we mentioned previously. Then, third step, uh, we have bone marrow to find biopsy. After I do uh, bone marrow uh, aspirate, then I can do bone marrow to find biopsy, uh, biopsy, but in special uh, situation it is of secondary importance uh, when the peripheral blood feature not diagnostic and bone marrow aspirate difficult or impossible to be uh, done it is uh, can be essential for diagnosis 
in which situation when, bon when the bone marrow aspirate is inadequate this is commonly due to increase either reticulin fiber or collagen marrow fibrosis and or then cellular infiltration or this is rarely to be seen so i do bone marrow trifying biopsy when the bone marrow aspirate is inadequate to uh, to be uh, studied and to be uh, checked uh, when there is bone marrow fibrosis طبعا special type of leukemia or hematological malignancy bone marrow uh, get fibrosed so, so I can't get a, a, uh, enough amount to be studied and give me uh, the idea about the the cellular content of the bone marrow aspirate as we mentioned uh, reticulum fibrosis such as in the M7 acute myeloid leukemia megacardioblastic leukemia subtype this is usually associated with fibrosis and my diagnosis usually don't depend and don't rely on bone marrow aspirate usually i depend on another rules such as immune phenotyping even sometimes bone marrow biopsy can give me uh, some finding such as the fibrous tissue fibrosis and as it is megacardioblastic leukemia means the megacardiocytes are hyperactive i see them hyperactive and more predominant in the uh, bone marrow aspirate in the bone marrow biopsy second to dis distinguish poor, aspir uh, poor aspirate due to hypocellularity from one with persistent leukemia hypoblastic AML have been defined as AML with bone marrow cellularity less than 40 to 50 percent also bone marrow bio uh, trifying biopsy I can't, can't do it to have uh, amaze the poor aspirate the end the the hypocellularity اكو عندي هايبوبلاستيك اي ام ال اذا هذا البور اسبيريت هو نتيجه الهايبوبلاستيك اي ام ال اللي هي البون مارا سيلولارتي ليس دان 40 تو 50 بيرسنت اور ذات اور ات از ديو تو بيرسيستنت لوكيميا ثيرد ات از اولسو اي كان يوز بون مارا تريفاين بايوبسي تو فولو ذا افكت اوف تريتمنت بارتيكولارلي ان ذا اي ام ال يعني نشوف مثلا patient I give him treatment I want to follow him By, uh, he was a patient in the biopsy previously has a fibrosis and has um, less cellularity then I do bone marrow refined biopsy and see I, I see uh, if there is a good response I will see that there is regression in the fibrotic tissue and more cellularity become uh, predominant and so on this is a picture or figure for you to see how the uh, cellularity appear in the this is a trifine biopsy see here uh, how the cell have been uh, there is diffuse infiltration of mononuclear cell monotonous cell here in the uh, bone marrow biopsy this is a mega karyocyte the second uh, or another uh, step uh, or tool for the investigation it is a cytochemistry as I mentioned previously we have some uh, cytochemical uh, stain I use and I de depend on them to differentiate between acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia here the cytochemistry it is selective useful if leukemia is not obviously myeloid if i'm i do i have a slide and check it uh, and i do cbc i do blood film and i do bone marrow aspirate and i am still in query i i don't know because the morphology is not, is not so helpful not help me to differentiate uh, or not conclusive i can't from it uh, know what whether it is acute myeloid or acute lymphoid leukemia i can do cytochemistry if the leukemia is not obviously myeloid or lymphoid uh, now nowadays it have been declined important since there is a development and uh, availability of immune phenotyping which is uh, uh, flow cytometry that can give me the uh, or confirm the diagnosis depending on the immunological marker that i now use them to know whether it is acute myeloid or acute lymphoid leukemia but also i can use them when the flow is not available or not ready and not rapidly accessible i can use cytochemistry uh, in this situation as i mentioned immune phenotyping which is indicated in all patients in whom the leukemia is not obviously myeloid 
by using specific immunological marker. Cytogenetic analysis is essential in all patients since knowledge of the karyotype is important for determining the, the prognosis and for choice of optimal treatment. It is best performed on bone marrow aspirate. If the count is so high in peripheral blood, I can do, I can take a sample of peripheral blood. Other uh, forms and uh, tool for the investigation, it is uh, radiological examination. What I find by radiology, I can, may find lytic bone lesion resulting from infiltration of these malignant cells into the bone, forming lytic bone lesion. Mediastinal widening, which is characteristic and pathognomonic for the uh, T-cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, in which there will be enlargement of the thymus and or mediastinal lymph node enlargement. Another, it is lumbar puncture for CSF examination. CSF, cerebrospinal fluid, may show the cerebro, uh, cerebrospinal fluid it contains leukemic cell and indicates C CNS involvement. Other than issue have some form of leukemia. Ahiyana, for example, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Patients with acute lymphoblastic leukemia uh, uh, diagnosed and then he is suffering from CNS manifestation, severe headache, diplopia, um, uh, whatever, any, any signs of uh, CNS involvement. Then I, I have a suspicion that he have. Uh, CNS uh, dissemination of this uh, uh, of this malignancy. Thus, I take CSF fluid and check it under microscope. I will found when I found malignant cell infiltrate even sometimes in sheet or in severe cases in, uh, as a diffuse infiltration. Accordingly, if I if I found them, this is mean that the patient has CNS infiltration and CNS uh, manifestation due to malignance uh, infiltration of these cells to the bo uh, to the uh, CNS to the uh, CNS system another biochemical test any uh, malignance condition usually we will see biochemical changes uh, such as increased uric, uh, uric acid lactate, uh, lactate dehydrogenase enzyme hypokalemia may be sporuous when the white BC count is very high also, hypercalcemia, I found it, as we mentioned, especially if there is lytic bone lesion. So, uh, it is uh, clearly that there will be hypercalcemia will be seen. Coagulation test, usually not in every situation. Some situation, coagulation uh, test, I need them when I have suspicion, usually of acute myeloid leukemia. M3, acute promyelocytic leukemia, usually these uh, patients with uh, acute promyelocytic leukemia, M3 subtype, have... Um, uh, manifestation and presentation of DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation. Come to the senior, come to the specialist with a manifestation of a bleeding tendency, such as ecchymosis, epistaxis, whatever. When I have a suspicion uh, of this, I have to, uh, of uh, acute myeloid leukemia, M3, thus I will need coagulation test. And usually I will found that uh, there is a picture, uh, coagulation test suggestive of DIC, disseminated intravascular coagulation, prolongation of PT, PTT, bleeding time, and uh, decreased, increased D-dimer, and so on. What is the classification and what is... Uh, It is based, the cla classification of leukemia, acute leukemia, usually it is, when I cl classify them, I base on many features, on many, uh, 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 many features, I depend on them, such as the morphology of the blast, chiclet blast, cytochemistry that I speak about them previously, SPB mean Sudan black stain, which is suggestive or um, specific for myeloid leukemia, BAS, periodic acid shift, which is usually, it is uh, specific and pathognomonic for uh, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. NPO, myeloperoxidase stain, esterases, especially non-specific esterases, usually these are stained for subtype of acute myeloid leukemia, which is M5, acute monoblastic leukemia. Esterases are specific for them. When they are positive, usually it is suggestive either of M4 or M5, acute monoblastic leukemia. What, a, what else also I depend in the classification? I depend on the immune phenotyping. 
also on the genetic analysis, including cytogenetic te techniques such as fish or cytogenetic analysis of cell and metaphase. طبعا الميتافيز طبعا الفيش هو ممكن استعمله ممكن هو cytogenetic and molecular technique بنفس الوقت. It is so useful because it is can diagnose the cell in metaphase or interface. So it is so uh, suggestive and so important and useful uh, in the uh, in our society in the diagnosis reaching the diagnosis of acute uh, leukemia. Molecular genetic uh, technique like reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction RT PCR. This is the FAB classification. French, American, British classification. Fab, we name it, we call it Fab classification. This is so common. Uh, this is based on the morphology of the blast and on the use of a special stain cytochemistry and limited use of monoclonal marker in special situation in phenotyping. Accordingly, acute leukemia is classified and subclassified into first acute lymphoid leukemia, we Fab classification. إلى three subtypes L1, L2, L3 depending on the morphology we, we said we mentioned that fab classification it is according to morphology and cytochemistry and limited use of mono قليل اعتماد على اكثر شيء على morphology and cytochemistry and limited use of monoclonal marker in special situation uh, using immune phenotyping so acute lymphoid leukemia classified in three subtypes L1, L2, L3 while acute myeloid leukemia classified into eight subtypes M0, M1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is the FAB classification. First, we will start with acute lymphoid leukemia. As we mentioned previously, it is divided into three subtypes. According to what? According to the cell size, lymphoblast size, according to their nuclear chromatin, whether it is clumped chromatin, condensed, uh, or whether open chromatin, uh, open chromatin. Also, uh, depending on the nuclear membrane shape, whether reg regular or irregular membrane shape, according to the nucleolus, it is in, uh, present, absent, it is inconspicuous, uh, amount of cytoplasm, whether scanty cytoplasm, more cytoplasm, it is uh, also depending on the cytoplasmic basophilia, whether the, the blast it is deeply basophilic or less basophilic and also according to the cytoplasmic vacuolation as uh, vacuolation means the cell blast cell contain vacuoles vacuoles if it is a present in large number this is usually suggestive of acute lymphoblastic leukemia all three subtypes and then we will mention it uh, later on first all one Usually the blast it is monomorphic يعني قطعة واحدة متماثلة الأشكال blast عادة تجي متماثلة من ناحية الحجم من ناحية الشكل majority small high nucleus cytoplasmic ratio high and C ratio scanty cytoplasm كمية cytoplasm قليلة small or inconspicuous nucleoli يعني small إحنا ما قلنا inconspicuous ممكن تكون وا قد تكون واضحة أو قد تكون غير واضحة ال L2 هيتروجينس بلاست يعني بلاست مختلفة بأشكالها وبأحجامها uh, عكس ال L1 اللي هي قلنا مونومورفيك تكون هذه مختلفة بأشكالها وبأحجامها فاريبل سايزز مختلفة قلناها NC uh, مختلفة من ناحية ال NC ريشيو ومن ناحية السايز مور برومينانت نوكليولاي بينما قلنا بال بال L1 تكون النوكليولاي inconspicuous or small بينما هنا prominent nucleoli uh, nuclear membrane irregularities هناك يعني تقريبا regular membrane تكون regular هنا nuclear membrane irregularity L3 monomorphic large blast monomorphic large blast um, with prominent nucleoli and strongly basophilic vacuolated cytoplasm اللي حكينا قبلها هذه تقريبا ال L3 يعني أنا أجزم عليها بس مجرد ألقى ال vacuoles present in uh, prominent and high vacuolation deeply basophilic cytoplasm it is suggestive of acute lymphoblastic leukemia L3 okay also this depending on the fab classification morphological feature uh, as we mentioned, this table it is the same speech, L1, L2, L3, regarding cell size 
ال L1 we tell, uh, mentioned that it is a small, while L2 large heterogeneous, three large heterogeneous. Nuclear chromatin it is an L1 fairly homogeneous, maybe condensed in some cells. Homogeneous, يعني متماثل قطعة واحدة ما بي clumping. L2 heterogeneous, يعني nuclear chromatin تقريبا um, heterogeneous يعني مختلف تحسه مو قطعة واحدة إحنا نصيح له. L3 finely stable. Homogeneous, nuclear shape may be irregular in L1, irregular and clifting. There is nuclear clifting. يعني إحنا نصيح لها مثل الطعجة باللغة العربية. Indentation common, regular over, oval or round in case of L3. Nuclear loss not visible or small and inconspicuous in case of L1, while usually visible often large in L2 and usually prominent in L3. Amount of cytoplasm scant in L1, variable, often abundant in L2, moderately abundant in L3, and cytoplasmic basophilia slightly to moderate in L1, variable in L2, strong in L3, and vacuolation variable in L1, variable in L2, and often prominent in L3. يعني ممكن أنا أشوف كيس L2 بيها vacuolation but very uh, يعني نقول عليهم very small يمكن القى لي بلاس وحده بيها فاكيولايا وحده فاكيولز وحده هذه نط ما اقدر اجزم عليها واقول بالاضافه اللي نحتاج باقي الكرايتيريا احنا قلنا ديب بيزوفيليك لارج بلاست آه، انذر آه، واكو طبعا سبيشال ستين اويل ريد او بالال 3 هذه اذا اسويها عندي سسبيشن اوف ال 3 اذا طلعت الاويل ريد او بوزيتيف ذس از مين سجستيف اوف ال 3 لذلك انا مو بس دائما اعتمد على المورفولوجي اكيد على السايتوكيمستري واذا السايتوكيمستري ما وصل لي للدايجنوستس الصحيح التجئ للخطوه اللي بعدها اللي هي الاميون فينو تايبنج فلو سايتومتري واسوي الماركرز اللي انا يعني مخليتها ببالي مثلا وذر لينفويد اور مايلويد وذاك الوقت اقدر اجزم وانطي الدايجنوستس النهائي ال1 سب تايب مونومورفيك بلاست Majority small. This is a small, 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 small. High NC ratio. Shuf. High NC ratio. Nucleus. It is large in relation to the cytoplasm. Scanty cytoplasm. We see that. High NC ratio. Small or inconspicuous nucleoli. تكاد تكون لا ترى. مثلاً هذه نصيح لها inconspicuous nucleoli. موجودة أو ما موجودة عند شك بيها. مو كلش واضحة. هذه مثلا inconspicuous nucleoli موجودة هذه تقريبا يعني إلا واحد يركز هذه غير واضحة إلا يعني تحتاج تركيز موجودة أو ما موجودة يعني مرات حتى واحد عده شك نصيح لها inconspicuous nucleoli small or inconspicuous nucleoli أوكي بينما هذه شوف L2 شوف النوكليولاي it is heterogeneous blast مختلفة بحجمها بالسايز مختلفة وبالأنسي ريشو مختلفة قسم هاي ان سي ريشو هاي هاي ان سي ريشو شوف النوكليوس لارج ان ريليشن تو ذا سايتوبلازم بينما هذه لا موجود اكو سايتوبلازم اذا مختلفه بيها شوف هاي حتى اندنتيشن اكو كليفتنج زين هاي نوكليولاس واضحه بروميننت بينما هذه كانت انكونسيبيكوس نوكليولاي اور ايفن سمول سو ذي ار هيتروجينوس فاريبل سايزز اند ان سي ريشو وذ مور بروميننت نوكليولاي اند نوكليير ممبرين ريجولاريتيز شوفي هذا ريجولار نوكليير ممبرين هذه نوكليير ممبرين ريجولاريتي الريجولارتي بينما هذيك كانت لا قطعة واحدة هوموجينس هذه ال L3 اللي هي مونومورفيك لارج بلاست لارج بلاست مونومورفيك تقريبا شكلها واحد موحد with prominent nucleoli هذه prominent nucleoli واضحة واضحة تقريبا هذه nucleoli زين واللي يميزها واللي واللي يخليني انطي التشخيص النهائي هي طبعا ديب بيزوفيليك سايتوبلازم بيزوفيليك يعني على زراق احنا نصيح له ديب بيزوفيليك فعلا ازرق طوخ وذ فاكيوليتد سايتوبلا هذه يعني هاي اجزم عليها ال 3 ات از مور بروميننت فاكيوليشن ذان اذر تايبس اوف لومفويد لوكيميا اور اكيوت لوكيميا ان جنرال اي ام ستيل ان ذا فابي كلاسيفيكيشن ناو ان ذا اكيوت مايلويد لوكيميا It is divided into eight subtypes, from M0 to M7. M0 is acute myeloid leukemia with minimal evidence of myeloid differentiation. M1 without maturation. M2 with maturation. M3 acute bromyelocytic leukemia. 
and for acute myelomonocytic leukemia mean I have both myeloid series and monocytic series in the uh, field and five acute monoblastic leukemia the monocytic series become more prominent here than the M4. Four has a mixture uh, of uh, uh, myeloid and monocytic. طبعا pro myelocytic leukemia من اسمها pro myeloid. The involvement here there will be maturation and rise at pro myeloid sites. Uh, step. We know that the uh, sequence of uh, differentiation of and maturation starting from the stem cell uh, blast pro myelocyte myelocyte. Uh, uh, so it is will till it is uh, and continue till it reach to the mature uh, cells such as neutrophil, basophil, and so on. So uh, it is here acute promyelocytic leukemia. The involvement and the maturation arrest will occur at promyelocytes. So the prominent cell that I see them, promyelocyte will not find other sequence uh, later sequences such as the the mature cell neutrophil, and there is a maturation arrest and the prominent cell be promyelo. Side, there will be malignant bromomyelocytes in this form of leukemia. Uh, M6, it is acute erythro leukemia, means it is involving the erythroid series. I'll find erythroblast and myeloblast in this form of leukemia according to the criteria of this type of leukemia. And lastly, M7, it is acute megakaryoblastic leukemia, this form of leukemia involving megakaryo cytic series uh, so I will find the uh, megakaryoblast and myeloid blast also I will find them in this form of leukemia fab classification AML morphological feature I, I tell you previously that when I found this our rod me this is suggestive and pathognomonic of acute myeloid leukemia this is a feature of uh, blast of acute myeloid leukemia high NC ratio they are uh, usually uh, the uh, heterogeneous blast different variable in size and shape open chromatin and as uh, we said previously our rod it is suggestive of acute myeloid leukemia this our rod distinctive red staining rod seen in cytoplasm of myeloblast representative abnormal azorophilic, gra uh, azorophilic granules they are diagnostic of acute myeloid leukemia. M0, acute myeloid leukemia, as we mentioned, with minimal evidence of differentiation. This is M0. Immune phenotyping, as we mentioned previously, flow cytometry, it is done by applying certain monoclonal antibody that recognize specific antigen, whether nuclear, cytoplasmic, surface, Antigen. This is very valuable, valuable and effective and efficient in distinction between myeloid and lymphoid leukemia and between even different subtypes of leukemia, whether between subtypes of acute myeloid leukemia or subtypes of acute lymphoid leukemia. Also, it is useful in treatment and follow up in determining a prognosis. Treatment and follow up. There are certain markers that are specific for each cell line. For example, cytoplasmic myeloperoxidase is the, sp the most specific for acute myeloid leukemia. CD79A for BALL, cytoplasmic CD3 for TALL. And there are many other markers that can be used for further categorization. So immune phenotyping is highly suggestive. It is so important and is more valuable and distinction between myeloid and lymphoid leukemia and even between subtypes of acute le leukemia uh, itself, de depending on by applying a marker, monoclonal antibody that targeting specific antigen, whether this antigen nuclear or cytoplasmic or surface antigen. And by this, I can confirm my diagnosis uh, that I uh, put in mind by morphology or even by cytochemistry. What about cytogenetic abnormality in ALL? We have chromosomal abnormality usually found in about 80% of the cases. It's either numerical abnormality in the number of the chromosome or structural abnormality means the translocations. 
So what are the numerical abnormalities? It's either hyperploidy or hypoploidy. Hyperploidy means the chromosome more than 50 chromosome. It is, has a good prognosis. When I found patient with acute lymphoid leukemia and have a hyperploidy by cyto cytogenetic analysis, it means has a good prognosis. While regarding hyperploidy, which means that less than 45 chromosome, it is associated with poor prognosis. Structural abnormality, mainly translocations, inversions, deletion, HADF, point mutation, involving amino acid substitution, as mentioned it in another lecture. Some of the most common translocation is either translocation between chromosome 9 and 22, which is resulting in the formation of Philadelphia chromosome. It is characteristic of CML cases, chronic myeloid leukemia cases. This is will be mentioned in another lecture. Seen about 20% of the cases of uh, chronic myeloid leukemia. It is more in adult and it is associated with uh, poor prognosis. Uh, another form of uh, translocation, it is translocation between four chromosome and 11 with MLL gene rearrangement, most common infant associated with poor prognosis. And lastly, translocation between chromosome 12 and 21, and it is also carry a poor, uh, carry a good prognosis. Translocation 12, 21 carry a very good prognosis. This is a uh, karyotype uh, example for hyperploidy of a patient with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, showing extra 468. Uh, 14, 17, uh, 19, 21, and X chromosome, as it is appear here, chromosome 4. This is additional, should be there two chromosome here. There is additional chromosome, chromosome 4, and chromosome 6, chromosome 8, 14, 17, and here uh, 19, and uh, here 21. And X chromosome, also there is additional one, should be there one chromosome. Here there is additional chromosome. Hyperploidy in a patient with ALL showing missing a chromosome 2, 3, 4, 12, uh, 12, 13, 15, 16, and 17. There is missing a chromosome. You can see it in this uh, picture, it is clear. Regarding cytogenetic abnormality in acute myeloid leukemia, the chromosomal abnormality in acute myeloid leukemia is seen about 70% of the cases. Some of the structural ab abnormality in the AML is either translocation A21, which is present in 12% of the patient and associated with good prognosis. Translocation 1517, Q31, Q22, PAML, RAR A, which is bromylocytic leukemia gene and retinoic acid uh, gene uh, seen in about 25% of the cases of bromylocytic leukemia and has a good prognosis. Other translocation that involve chromosome seven, 17 like translocation 1117 may also be seen with a vari variable response to all ETRA drug, all trans retinoic acid drug in version 3 or translocation 3, 3, extremely poor prognosis. See it usually in acute megacardioblastic leukemia, M7. In version 16 or translocation 60, 60 carries also good prognosis. Translocation between uh, chromosome 9 and 22, the Philadelphia chromosome, characteristic of CML. When present in cases of acute leukemia, it carries a poor prognosis. When it's present, we have to know that translocation between chromosome 9 and 22. It is a characteristic and special uh, feature for, uh, for uh, chronic myeloid leukemia, but it could be seen in cases of acute leukemia. So when it is present in cases of acute leukemia, it carries a poor prognosis. Translocation or deletion chromosome 11 involve um, MLL gene, mixed lineage leukemia gene, mixed lineage leukemia gene that are associated with poor prognosis. There are also many forms of numer numerical chromosomal anomalies 
that are, that are associated with AML, such as trisomy or monosomy. Cytogenetic uh, anomalies are independent prognostic factors that have a great influence on the treatment outcome. Now let us speak about acute bromylocytic leukemia, M3. This type of leukemia, the malignant cell are the abnormal hypergranular bromylocyte, as I mentioned previously from its name, it is acute bromylocytic leukemia, so the malignant transformation. And the most predominant cell are the malignant hypergranular bromylocyte. I will find them predominantly in patients with acute bromylocytic leukemia, M3. These cells are characterized by having densely bulk cytoplasm, densely clumped cytoplasm, deeply basophilic cytoplasm with the granules, with the granules, multiple our rods or vagus cells. احنا قلنا قبل شوية acute myeloid leukemia من أشوف بها our road when there is presence of our road this is pathognomonic of acute myeloid leukemia not acute lymphoid leukemia but when I found the subtype of acute myeloid leukemia have multiple our road multiple our roads يعني من when I said multiple many three four five even ten our roads this is I name it Bagot cell at uh, here at least three our road at least even I can find four five ten at least three our rod per cell are seen this i named them vagot cell so what are vagot cell vagot cell they are malignant bromylocytes that contain multiple granules multiple our rods at least three our rod per cell are named them vagot cell this type of leukemia the presentation usually uh, dramatic يعني تقريبا نقدر نقول fixed تجينا نفس السيناريو تختلف عن باقي type of leukemia باقي type of leukemia قلنا مو مو ثابتة عادة indistinguishable clinical feature indistinguishable between acute lymphoid leukemia و acute myeloid leukemia even in the some uh, type, uh, subtypes of uh, of acute myeloid or lymphoid I can sometimes I can't differentiate uh, while there it's usually fixed or the same skin area patient usually come with pancytopenia high incidence of DIC as I mentioned, disseminated intravascular coagulation. So the patients come with pancytopenia and bleeding tendency, epistaxis, uh, menorrhagia for the female, usually they come like this, ecumotic bleeding, purpuric crush, and so on, bleeding tendency. And it is usually precipitated after treatment. This occurs because the cytoplasmic granules are rich with the procoagulant material that will stimulate the coagulation process when released. يعني يقصد انه ال دي اي سي ليش ده تصير؟ لانه هذه السيتوبلازميك جرانيول هي ريتش وذ بروكوجلنت ماتيريال اللي تحفز لنا التشينجز اند هيموستاتيك ابنورماليتي اند كوجليشن ديفكت ذات ابير از بليدنج تندنسي. This is a picture suggestive of acute bromylocytic leukemia here. These are all of them malignant bromylocyte we see. This is the vagot cell. See multiple our road. This Multiple hour road. تقريبا هنا عندنا واحد اثنين ثلاث اربع خمس ست سبعة ثمانية تسعة. يعني تقريبا حتى واصلة للعشرين hour road. Okay, this is also multiple granules. It is deeply basophilic. Dense clump cytoplasm. We see usually uh, uh, with, with indentation. Mm, uh, Promylocyte nucleus here. It is highly indented. Okay, uh, this is prominent nucleolus. When I see our road like this, it is, it is a vagus cell. Even this. This usually it is hidden the surface of the nucleus, multiple hour rod. This is I name it vagot cell. When I found it, it is highly suggestive of acute promylocytic leukemia. Here the characteristic feature of this type of leukemia, presence of translocation between chromosome 15 and 17, which is seen in the majority of the cases. About 95% of patients with acute promylocytic leukemia having this translocation, which involve the retinoic acid receptor alpha gene on chromosome 17 and bromylocyte leukemia gene on chromosome 15. طبعا الريتانوك اسيد ريسبتر alpha gene it is code for the retinoic acid receptor which induce cell differentiation. لذلك translocation as this gene responsible for cell differentiation. So when it is undergo translocation, this result into reducing the function of this receptor. So no differentiation. So it will blo block differentiation and there will be maturation arrest, as I mentioned to you previously, at this stage at bromylocyte. 
However, still this uh, this translocation carries good prognosis. Why? Because the abnormal receptor respond to high dose of etra, all transrutinic acid drug. When I give this, it's usually it this will induce the differentiation of the abnormal bromylocyte. لذلك عادة patient رغم إنه ال patient يجي with a very uh, severe bleeding tendency and uh, patient usually came deteriorated. But usually, we can tell that this type of subtype of leukemia carries a good prognosis because it is respond so rapidly and very good response to the etra drug, all trans retinoic acid, which will induce the differentiation of the abnormal promyelocyte. What is the? Uh, how can we distinguish in general? In general, speak. طبعا اللينفوما راح تاخذوها محاضرات إن شاء الله كاملة. Uh, تعطى لكم في الأسابيع في الأسبوع القادم إن شاء الله لكن in general uh, how can we distinguish between leukemia and lymphoma general speaking the distinction is that lymphoma the disease started from lymphatic cell in the lymph node or other parts of the lymphatic system while leukemia whether acute or chronic the disease start from lymphocytic cell in the bone marrow يعني اللمفوما من اسمها لمفوما هو مالجنسي of the lymph node مالجنسي starting from the lymph node زين يظهر عندي بال بالبلاد والبون مرو بالبون مرو in the advanced stages it can invade the bone marrow then there will after that there will be spillage of the abnormal lymphoid cell in the peripheral blood then هو starting in the lymphatic cell بينما باللوكيميا whether acute or chronic the disease starting from the bone marrow primary disease starting in the bone marrow then it will be spilled the malignant cell will be spilled in the peripheral blood and other organ causing manifestation while in lymphoma it will start in the lymphatic system in the lymphoid organ in the lymph node and then later on will be disseminated in the bone marrow with a spillage in the peripheral blood in either case the malignant cell can migrate from their source, bone marrow or lymphatic system, and be found in other sites of the body and other form of the uh, and other types of the organ, whether liver and spleen, and causing a clinical manifestation. Lymphoma, as we mentioned, these are malignant neoplasm derived from the lymphocyte that form tumors usually in lymph node but also in other organ or in soft tissue and like the leukemia that tumor cell don't appear in the blood in detectable numbers the lymphomas are broadly grouped into two types a non-hodgkin lymphoma 60 percent and hodgkin lymphoma also known as hodgkin diseases 40 percent both lymphocytic leukemia and lymphoma are the result of uh, malignant transformation of cell distant to be a lymphocyte and thank you